into the mix of humanity into the mix of humanity with friends and neighbors visitors and strangers together we join to worship you O lord our god amen and now we come to our time to say sorry for our sins god our father we come to you in sorrow for our sins for turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. For behaving just as we wish, without thinking of you. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. For failing you by what we do and think and say. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us for letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptations in the world about us. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. For living as if we were ashamed to belong to your Son. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. May God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world through jesus christ our lord amen blessed is the lord for he has heard the voice of our prayer therefore shall our hearts dance for joy and in our song we will praise our god The reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 13. Christ's humility and greatness. Your life in Christ makes you strong, and his love comforts you. You have fellowship with the Spirit, and you have kindness and compassion for one another. I urge you then to make me completely happy by having the same thoughts, sharing the same love, and being one in soul and mind. Don't do anything from selfish ambition or from a cheap desire to boast, but be humble towards one another, always considering others better than yourselves. And look out for one another's interests, not just for your own. The attitude you should have is the one that Christ Jesus had. He always had the nature of God, but he did not think that by force he should try to become equal with God. Instead of this, of his own free will, he gave up all he had and took the nature of a servant. He became like man and appeared in humble likeness. He was humble and walked the path of obedience all the way to death. His death on the cross. For this reason God raised him to the highest place above and gave him the name that is greater than any other name. And so in honour of the name of Jesus all beings in heaven, on earth, and in the world below will fall on their knees, and all will openly proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So then, dear friends, as you always obeyed me when I was with you, it is even more important that you obey me now while I am away from you. Keep on working with fear and trembling to complete your salvation because God is always at work in you to make you willing and able to obey his own purpose. This is the end of the reading. Praise be to God. Amen. Make me completely happy by sharing the same thoughts. 
when I read that, that sort of struck me a bit because I thought, how boring would the world be if everyone had exactly the same thoughts on everything? Can you imagine if we all decided to get an ice cream at the same time? Or if we all decided to wear the same colour clothes every single day? The world wouldn't be a very exciting place, would it? So that's why it really got me when Paul said, make me really happy by all sharing the same thoughts. But then as I considered the rest of the reading, it got me thinking about how as the church, as God's people, there is a real importance for us to be together and united, not agreeing on every single thing, but united in the same vision to see God's kingdom here on earth. I was doing this puzzle with Noah and it got me thinking about the way we're all a bit different. Each of these pieces has different things on. And on their own, they're probably not all that much use. But when you put them together, a picture starts to appear. And just like that, each of us have got a different purpose. Each of us have got a different viewpoint and a different take on what we read in the Bible and what we hear from God. But when we put that together, as the church, we can really flourish. As the church, we can come together in strength to love other people, to show mercy and compassion, to teach the world something special about the ways of God. And so I think the most important thing to take from this message is the power of that unity, the power of being together in the Holy Spirit and together in God, in Christ Jesus, to do his work on earth. Amen. Amen. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe, we believe and trust, and trust in, in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We, we believe, believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit? who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world. We, we believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our, our faith. We, we believe, believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us join together in prayer. Father God, we thank you for our church and we ask that you will help us to grow closer to one another and closer to you. Let us think of the people who are in our church community and ask that God to be especially close to them this morning. We also remember those people who are not able to be with us today, perhaps through illness or because they're on holiday. Let us remember them in our own prayers now. Father God, we thank you for the places where we live and we ask that you will help us to spread your love to our friends and neighbours. Let's think of one or two particular friends and ask that God will help us to share our faith through love in action. Amen. Amen. Father God, Amen. we thank you for the time that we have spent worshipping together. And we ask that you will be with us throughout the rest of the day. Let's think of the things that we are going to do later today and bring them now before God. Lord, thank you that you listen to all of our prayers, spoken and unspoken. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, 
our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now we join together to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Into a world of noise and confusion. Into a world that bewilders and even bemuses us at times. Into a world of delight and regret. Into a world of hope and fear. Into a world that is ever changing. We go with the message of an unchanging God who gave his all that we might live to be the best of our ability. God of all, go with us and within us, this and every day. Amen.